In this video, I'm going to show you how you can save a section and its formatting so you can use that in a different page. Okay, so for example, on this page here, I have a list here with an um, icon on the left that's got a certain color and a certain icon in it. Now, I might want to use this same style format in a different page, yeah, for another list. Or for example, you have a, um, a testimonial here that has certain styling, okay? So if you was add, to add a new testimonial or a new list to a page, it would um, have default formatting and you'd need to apply the same styles. Okay, so an easier way to do that is just to save one of the existing blocks so the styling is there and then you can use it in a new page. Okay, so to do that, um, if you go into Beaver Builder, edit the page with Beaver Builder. Okay, and then go down to the section you want to save. So for example, I want to save this list and use in a different page, the same styling. Just click on it and then you can click the save as option and I'm going to give it a name called um, list. I want to leave global to no, okay, because I don't want it to be a global list. If it was a global list, then basically when it changes in one page, it will also change in another page. So sometimes it might be handy if you want the list to be global or whatever section you're saving, you want to be a global one. But I'm just going to leave it as no and then click save. Okay, so I've saved the list. I'm just going to come out of this now and discard any changes. Okay, and then um, I'm going to go to my contact page and show you how you can add it. So say, for example, I want to add a list at the bottom here, that same list. Once again, I'm going to go into Beaver Builder. And then I'm going to click the plus icon at the top and I'm going to click saved to show all of my saved modules and items. Okay, and as you can see here, I've got the one called list. So I simply am going to drag and drop this to the place where I want it. It's going to have all the same items in there, but as you can see, the formatting is the same. And now you can just delete, yeah, the items that you don't want. Um, don't delete all of them. If you're, for example, this is the list and edit this one, you can change that. And to add new list items, it's always best to duplicate an existing one. Okay, because also the list items will have certain formatting. For example, the icon which is used is this. Yeah, so if it's a, a repeating feature like this, it's best just to duplicate the existing one you've got and then that's that. So you can see that's how to duplicate a list or any module and use in another page.